All right, so we're here at the Marshall Swamp Trailhead. This is what I call my public service day. I'm trying to get the map on here. And uh, this is kind of the picture of the Marshall Swamp Trail. And uh, of course this is uh, some of the birds that I've seen. So anyway, let me uh, just swing around here. I just wanted to, you to get a view of all of this. This is a real nice uh, area to come and picnic. Uh, the guy that maintains the trail actually lives in that trailer over there. I think he's, well, I, I see him sitting out. And uh, he does a real good job of keeping everything cut down. I, I respect that. Um, but, you know, he could bring a four-wheeler back in here. And uh, there's some portions of the trail where, where it's just deep mud, so it makes it impossible to really mountain bike it. And uh, even walking it uh, gets kind of crazy if you just carted on a four-wheeler back some gravel back in there and just sprinkled it in those areas. There's only about, oh, uh, maybe five or ten of them. Uh, that was sure what, because you can see they've put some gravel down uh, on the trail. It just hasn't been done in a while. Um, but I wanted to kind of show the uh, the backpackers uh, this area, and I did talk to the guy a long time back. There's a big spider web over there, uh, and uh, I was complaining because uh, you know if you look right here, this is a beautiful place to uh, camp. And I said, hey, you know, if I was uh, hiking the trail, would you really care if I threw a tent up right back in here? Because you know one of the things that you look for when you're backpacking is a, is is potable water and a bathroom and uh, we'll get into that story in a minute but right right back there is a real nice uh, bathroom facility no shower of course but uh so if you were backpacking you know i would say get out of sight right back in here and just throw your tent up and that's a big 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 complaint i have about the florida trail is this should be a designated camping area i mean how long how difficult would it be to cut in a couple of little primitive campsites right there let's just say for example that's where you're, you're somewhat close to the the picnic shelter and the in the bathrooms and uh you know it'd be real nice and you can see this is another portion of the florida trail that's really well maintained really nice uh, but this is my public service day i'm going to show you uh, another portion of the trail that uh is going to need some work uh real quick uh <laughs> <laughs> I got to give my story. Anyway, so, you know, back during the lockdown, you know, yes, we had a lockdown here in Florida. Luckily, it wasn't for too long. And uh, so my wife, I, you know, I got her out because she was going crazy. She, everybody was going batshit crazy, locked in their houses, you know. And I would just come out here and hike this trail and catch me if you can. You know, the idiot forest ranger saying you couldn't hike the trail. I was just stupid. But anyways, so I got her all the way down here, and uh, I said, well, there's a bathroom, you know, because she, she had to go real bad, because we've been hiking, you know, it takes about an hour to get to the next parking area, which is, which is way back that way, through the swamp, and uh, we got up here, and the idiots had locked the damn bathroom doors because of the virus, and then even, even stupider was over here at the picnic shelter, they had tape around the picnic shelter saying you couldn't use it. I mean, look at the virus is, is, is just as bad now as it was then, and yet you don't see any of that stupid stuff now. I can't believe people went along with that. So we're going to get a quick shot of, of this. Uh, this kind of tells you a little bit. I'll let you read this on your own. But uh, imagine a 200-mile channel across the floor. It goes back to talking about that channel that uh, I'd be filming. In, I filmed in another video and uh, I haven't posted yet. And uh, and this talks about the canal also. So you can pause there and read it if you want. So, and then it's called the Marshall Swamp Trail. Right there's the sign. But anyway, so, so she couldn't use the bathroom. So we turned around and we're on our way back. And I said, honey, you know, I, I think I have my backpack on, you know, with some, I always carry some toilet paper with me. You never know hiking when you're gonna have an emergency especially when you're old and uh so i said you know just go on over there in the woods yes i did but be sure and take your pants off you know that's what you do when when you're backpacking you just you strip everything off i mean i know it sounds kind of gross and you squat like a bear in the woods and just go and see there's that picnic shelter i was telling you about and there's the bathrooms 
and uh, she, she wouldn't take her pants off. <laughs> so anyway, the, the hike back was kind of wet for her after that. Uh, I should, boy, she, I hope she never watches this video. She'll kill me. All right, so the trail, we're going to go this way. This is where the maintenance is going to be, and we'll continue the video uh, here in just a second. All right, so for those of you who do want to hike the trail, this is what you're going to search for in your GPS. If you just, you know, ask it to find Marshall Swamp Trailhead, it'll bring you right here. But you can also enter the address, which is 8400 Southeast Highway 314. Now, back during the lockdown, getting back to that idiocy, these gates were locked. So I just parked my car right here, you know, who cares? Catch me if you can, you idiots. But the trail, you know, back when I was first learning about the trail, and I really haven't hiked this portion of the trail per se, because it's not maintained. And I don't understand, the guy lives right back there. Now he does a real good job with the swamp trail, but this side, it just is left to its own uh, growth, you know, and uh, they really don't, uh, if it, unless I, I might be proven wrong, but we'll see. Now, what the idiots did was they, <laughs> they actually, you can see the remnants. I think the tape is still there. Yeah, see, they put tape across here saying you couldn't hike the trail. I ripped that off, by the way. There, there's the remnants of it. And I, so the trail actually goes through here. Now, look at this. This isn't maintained hardly at all. And, uh, and then you would come around and you're supposed to hike through that. Now, for me, and there's a sign, you know, foot traffic welcome. Now, for me, I'd let that just grow in, you know. What the hell? Just let the trail go right here. Because what you can do, and this is what we're going to do today, is, you know, just hike up beside the road here. And actually, the Florida Trail does go on a lot of roads. So I don't know why they want you to go back behind that fence. But it just goes on this way. And if you look, a lot of these posts are marked along the way because you know somebody coming in here they would never know they would look at that and think oh there's the trail and then you see that behind there like i showed you and you'd say well i maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm not on the trail and see if this is what something else we're going to do today we're going to we're going to be picking up this garbage make it look nice you know garbage everywhere how long would it take that idiot back there to well, i shouldn't say idiot he's actually a nice guy i'm just i'm just saying i, I feel like he should be doing a job you know if he's, he's getting paid or, or he's provided free lodging um he should be coming over here and, and cleaning all the sun but anyway just hike up beside the road here no reason to get over there in the weeds you're going to get chiggers and and all kinds of things clinging to your clothes and you can see it's not that heavily a traveled road i mean there's quite a few cars coming down now but uh anyway the maintenance we're going to do is way up here and the trail cuts back into the woods this way and uh but uh, the other day I tried to just kind of hike through there. Man, I got stuff stuck all over me. And I thought, well, you know what? Nobody's going to want to hike this. It looks like that. So that's what we're here today. It's weed eater time. So this is how stupid things can get. You got the stupid state park boundary, no trespassing state of Florida. And there's Florida Trail <laughs> right there where people are supposed to hike. So, I mean, anyway, this fence is down. For the, This is what I was talking about. See, the fence has been, most of it's down. Now, what we're going to do is, you know, like I said, hiking behind that fence just doesn't make any sense. Here's more garbage. How, how long does it take to pick up this stuff? You know, that's my, and hell, the, 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 the office is right at one quarter mile that way. You know, you'd think they'd come up here and maintain it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to cut through right here. Because the fence is completely down, you know, so that you do get behind the fence just a little bit. And uh, you can see where this would be kind of crazy to hike. Because, man, you're going to get chiggers and everything else. And we're just going to kind of cut right through here. And uh, so anybody who watches this video, what, what you're going to do at this point is just hike up beside the road here. And, uh, and then just cut through the fence right here and go behind it. You know, I could, we could cut through right up here at the, uh, at the fence, but... It, yeah, I want to give people a little bit of a little bit of room to come through and go that way. All right, so let's get started. All 
See, now this is where I asked the trail maintenance crews and whatnot to have a little common sense. Now, would it make sense to go back there and cut all of that, all the way back to where the trail comes in, or just cut a little gap right here through the fence that's already down? It's not like I tore it down. And, uh, and just walk along that road right there. You know, the park is way down there. And uh, so now you can see if somebody's hiking, they can come right in right here. You don't have to worry about the chiggers and the snakes and all of that stuff. And look how long it took me. I mean, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I don't know. And, uh, you know, I don't understand why that guy back there that uh, is possibly getting paid to maintain these trails, he could come up here with a weed eater and do what I just did. But uh, anyway, it gives me something to do. It's community service, you know. We're gonna pick up trash. I gotta go to the car here and get the uh, the cutters. You know, you can see I can't take that down with the weed eater. But the trail's looping on back into the woods. And, uh, you know, so we're gonna, we're gonna blaze this. Now you see that tree kind of hanging over down there. <laughs> Story about that. The day I was here hiking this portion of the trail, actually I brought in just some, some hedge clippers, you know, and so I was just kind of doing this a little bit. And uh, man, there was this huge spider. Oh my God. And I've, luckily I didn't bump into him. I had to take that web down so you could get underneath that tree. And if we get back on this trail, I'm hoping they've done a little bit of maintenance because this, this is what it's going to look like for a long ways. So we'll be at this quite some time. That, that's enough video of you watching me work. I'll just uh, take a video if we get anything unique from this point on. But uh, just wanted you to see. See, there's a marker. It's well marked. It's on the tree there that shows the trails going that way. Now, I will say this. Well, maybe if we get back there, we should today. But the trail, it actually looks like it goes straight on this way. But you got to be careful because it actually makes a right and goes that way. And uh, so you got to be be looking out for that now what 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 ran what i ran into was they had let it grow up on the trail going this way so badly you couldn't tell it was a trail and so this is kind of a little road you'll see it when we get back in there and uh so i just kept going <laughs> going down that stupid road and i kept thinking man i'm not seeing any of them little orange markers marking the trail you know for a long time and here i was maintaining that stupid road you know doing doing my work and uh, i wasn't even on the florida trail <laughs> i was on just a road Oh me. All right, well, let's get to we'll put the phone away and I uh, will uh, get some video when we get back in there and uh, I got to go get my clippers and uh, lock up the car because at this point I can't I won't be able to see it. All right. See, it's pretty clear. They haven't done any maintenance. I'll next time I come I'll bring a saw and get that little thing out. But this one here down here, see that big tree? No way I'm moving that one. So that's it. Wait till the trail crew comes back in here to get that. But uh, yeah, we'll keep going. I'm hoping to make it to that turn. You can see the orange mark on that tree down there. So we're still on the trail. I haven't missed that turn. Too bad that uh, they just don't maintain this section of the trail. I don't know why. I like it. I think it's real pretty. Anyway, remember what I said about hunting? <laughs> there's, there's a tree stand. Hadn't been used in a while. Anyway, we're gonna keep going. So it's just going to be slow going today. You know, I'm going to leave that tree there. No reason to cut it out of the way other than to identify the trail a little better. But that's what the orange markers are for. So it's just slow going. I mean, you can see I'm cutting through here. It just hasn't been maintained in quite some time. So, you know, it's uh, all we can do. And I did not bring a saw. And uh, there is a couple places that I could saw down some stuff. But I've already cut through here. You notice I'm just trying to get it down enough so that you don't get bugs all over your legs as you walk through here. And uh, boy, you can avoid the deer tracks. <laughs> man, if you're a hunter, this is the place to be. Because man, it, look at, I'll show you. Well, up, up here, man, there's deer tracks all through the mud. So anyway, we'll keep on going. See the weed eater way up there. It's just going to be, I don't even know if we'll get to that turn today. I'm going to work until the batteries are dead. I got three batteries. I'm still on the first one, but that's the big battery, and then the other ones are little ones. And this is what I'm talking about with the spiders. <laughs> see, the, see that little guy hanging out right there? I don't know if you can get him. Yeah, he's got bright colors, but uh, you can tell I'm a spider guy. I can't stand the spiders. I don't kill them. I don't kill them. I let them, let them be, but uh, I just don't want them in my face or on me. Okay, I'll, uh, that's enough for now. But you see that orange marker up there on the tree? 
So you can see that you're on the trail. I mean, this is what it looks like. I've already cleared a lot of the sticks out of the way. There were some big limbs through here, and uh, we'll keep going. Well, this is as far as we get today. I did not bring a saw, and it is getting late, and I got to pick up all that garbage along the road. Uh, you can see the marker behind this tree uh, way back in there. Now, I'm not going to buy a chainsaw just so I can work on the Florida Trail. A weed eater I can use around the house a little bit, even though I have a service that comes in and, and does a pretty good job. But uh, sometimes it's good for to get the areas that they miss. So anyway, we got it. Uh, what I did was, you know, if anybody that maintains the Florida Trail ever looks, I cut everything down around it so you can work in that area really well. And then, of course, over here, you can get around it real easily or just over top of it. That one I'm not real concerned about. It's going to take a big chainsaw. This one here I can take care of. I, I got my little saw. I come in here and I can cut a path right through there, you know, and just leave the rest of it. And they can come in with a big chainsaw and take care of that. So, uh, anyway, that's it for today. I don't need to show you, you me picking up the garbage. And, uh, you know, this is, uh, this is what I recommend everybody do, you know. Pick your, uh, pick your niche, man. Do a little bit of community service, you know. You don't need glory. You don't need, uh, you don't need to be with a group of people. You know, with the virus, we're, they're saying publicly distanced, right? Well, this is something that, that I'm well distanced from uh, people. Because <laughs> there ain't nobody back here except me. And uh, yeah, it's kind of fun. You know, I, I like hard work. Uh, I got a lot of uh, medical problems. So it takes a lot for me to get prepared to do something like this, but you know, it's good exercise and uh, I'd rather be hiking. That's for sure. But you know what? I mean, I take advantage of these trails and uh, I got to give back a little bit, but look, we got it. We got it all the way done all the way up to here. So not bad, not bad at all. All right. I'll see you all on the next video. All right, I know I said no more video, but I had to show you this little guy. I'm going to tell you, when you get old, man, this thing's great. You can even pick up a, a beer, bring it up off the table, get it close to you. I'm just kidding. But, I mean, uh, this is great for, uh, you know, when you I've had, uh, what, 15 surgeries, and my wife, uh, she just had a bunch here recently, and the, but they're nice and sturdy, and you can find this at Amazon. Don't buy those cheap ones uh, that's got the little plastic thing. You know, this has got that grip, and uh, this is what I'll be using. I'm not going to be bending over to pick all that up. All right, that's it.